Hello, trading has closed on December 23rd, 2020. I know many people listen to the channel, not for my analysis, but to hear my disclaimer, I won't keep you in suspense any longer. This is my plan for Christmas Eve. Uh, actually, some of these things might wait until Monday. A lot of the time, these stub sessions don't do anything, and everything you say waits for a day. Whether that will happen tomorrow or not, I don't know. We can always gap sharply in the undesired direction and kill the call, and always I can be wrong. And my email is mejt.trades at gmail.com. Look for the pattern with the early low. It tends to be a rally day with a high in the final hour. That's it. Tomorrow else and tomorrow also has the early low. Doesn't mean you won't gap up. We gapped up, hit a higher high, closed under all the highs. Also closed under the intervening low. You can see how these FOMC announcements can be good support resistance levels, even long after they're made. So that's a negative pattern. And unless we gap and take this high out promptly, lower prices should print. But unless you gap down smartly, we have a target of 3709.07. Unless we gap down smartly, it is favored to print tomorrow, although it might not work because of major changes in trend. Almost always you will leave a failed target. This is really a pretty negative pattern, and the only thing which isn't that negative about it is the timing of the drop. You were holding up pretty much for the day. And then with like 10, 15 minutes left to go, there was some kind of news announcement from the White House. I forget what it was. We had this drop like this. If this is the start of something big on the downside, I would have expected this to begin earlier. It's not a requirement. It just makes me suspicious. And these walls into the close many times get reversed quickly by gapping over this high. If it doesn't happen, it's trouble, but I can't rule it out. So here's what we said. Uh, we should see higher prices. Doesn't guarantee a higher close. We actually closed essentially unchanged. These are my calls for next week. Norm Winsky returns on Monday. During the day, with you were railing and railing like this, me, JT, said that was a false move and it wouldn't stick. Now says this drop is false, gives us the target. This is my diamond on stilts pattern. Half a, di half a diamond is all you need, but you can have a, di a diamond slanted like this. Here's the left stilt. Here's the right stilt. The origin of the left stilt is a support resistance level. You don't actually have to hit it. And usually, not always, usually the first challenge holds as support. And if it is challenged again, it breaks in grand style. Now, if you gap down tomorrow and this, and you, and you make a move under this line, Support becomes resistance, and that's no good. But I'm not predicting that one way or the other. Just be aware that we're at a support level. Well, here's our long-term chart. We have trend line resistance and Fibonacci resistance. And this is our candidate for a major top. I don't know if Santa's going to bring it on Christmas Eve, but I don't think we have to wait too long if that's the right call. Now you can see here how we stopped right at this support level. 
gets from connecting this to this. Well, this isn't the clearest count in the world, but there are some good fibs for an ABC, but that doesn't have to be the end of wave two. Could be A of two. We said yesterday that the most plausible thing would be, if this count's correct, we said we should have a rally day, but stop short of overtaking this high. That's what happened. And we said be aware there could be a change in trend in the middle of the day and the middle of the week. It's often the time frame for a major change in trend. And so far, it's playing out just that way. Tomorrow's pattern has the early low. It could gap up. Any prediction I make for tomorrow might, might hold off until Monday. It's tough to predict what happens on these stub days. There just aren't that many of them. Today's normally bullish pattern had a weak close. It's a negative pattern. Unless we gap and promptly overtake today's high, lower prices should print. But that's not impossible. We have a higher target, higher media key target. And unless we gap down smartly, it's favored to print. Just be aware that almost always MJT typically leaves a failed target and major changes in trend. So if we do start dropping right now, don't hold out waiting for that to print. The wall into the close is often followed by gapping up and the market reopens. Yesterday's video warned of the possibility of a peak in the middle of the day in the middle of the week. It's often the time frame for a major change in trend. Even though bouncing here can't be ruled out, this whole picture is compatible with a major top. Doesn't mean it has to start tomorrow, but I think we're close. A severe drop can begin at any time if this interpretation is correct. And you'll know that's correct if we get failure of recent lows. If they don't hold and there's prompt follow through. That's the whole, that's the low we set last week. I think it could have very negative consequences. Actually, it wasn't last week. I think it was Monday of this week. If that falls and we get follow through, it's, it's just hard to see how we can have anything other than a very steep drop. And today's action doesn't change my opinion about that possibility at all. If anything, it makes it stronger. Just doesn't mean it has to start tomorrow. We could have recovery first. So tomorrow has the early low. Happy holidays to everyone. Um, if nothing happens tomorrow, I won't be surprised. But um, I don't think the rally has much more to go if the interpretation is right. And that's how you'll know if this thing falls with conviction. Fingers crossed, and we'll uh, conclude today's video.